So here in this last video, we are going to see finally some applications, some of the many applications we have uh, when we use artificial intelligence in the social and healthcare sectors. So AI is rapidly growing up and providing new solutions in social and healthcare sectors. As almost any area, AI is generating very new and effective solutions in social and healthcare sectors. The intrinsic complexity in these sectors makes them an excellent target for what AI is good at. A huge population to take care of, with unique necessities and problems, complex diagnosis processes, the need of very specific solutions, even individual solutions, lack of resources and time, the need of automatically controlling patients, new electronic devices able to track body signals, etc. is an incredible source of data, perfect for AI, and the development of powerful AI models and systems. AI can assist us all, professionals and clients, letting us to only focus on what we are unique as humans. So we will see here some of the main areas where AI is or will be in short providing incredible solutions. Planning and managing resources, a very important area where AI can provide excellent tools in social and healthcare management in all the levels from services and human resources scheduling to hospitals and clinics. Wherever you have a lot of resources and uh, it's really troublesome to manage them, AI can provide a solution to that. Using planning and reasoning AI tools can take into, that can take into account necessities and resources and with historical data and machine learning make variable predictions to get the best use of every kind of resources. Diagnosis, medical images, wearables, well, diagnosis of course and other social assistant tasks are very complex. It means the use of any possible information available from the patient and AI can, using machine learning techniques, can make accurate predictions from symptoms or behaviors. Medical imaging is currently used by deep learning AI system and providing even better results in diagnosis than experts when correctly trained. Information from wearables devices such as smart watches, bands, and so on, are also giving us the opportunity to increase the information about the patients and clients, and again, with AI, to make possible predictive medicine or social assistant intervention. These devices can also track people, don't forget that, allowing new possibilities to caregivers and social and health professionals. With AI, you can talk in natural language and be understood and have a voice-based answer. So natural language processing and natural language understanding are using AI techniques in order to make possible new possibilities when interacting with devices. Here we are talking, of course, um, about very well-known devices you probably have already at home. It is possible right now to use our own voice and natural language in order to express actions that, in social and healthcare environments, can improve the tax of caregivers and professionals and the life of patients. Take into account that there are people that are not familiar with technology and the possibility of just interacting using the voice and natural language is a before and after. Many patients and clients, for example, can have with voice assistance a great opportunity to express difficulties or situations of risks. Chatbots can, using AI, make a preliminary interaction that eventually can put a human in the loop 
to provide a solution. Sentiment analysis from text and images in social networks. Sentiment analysis is another NLP possibility that can be used to get information of the state of someone that could be in some kind of risk or trouble. The AI analysis of images and text in social networks can give us information about problems, a situation of risk, depression, and let relatives, caregivers or professionals an automatic way to be able to take some preventive action. AI can uh, make us much more independent at home, for example, with the possibility of deep learning and its advantages in detecting elements in images, videos, sounds, etc. It is possible to use devices in order to better monitor people with some degree of dependency. So it is possible to detect using AI in this context suspicious patterns or habit changes. For example, uh, many visits to the bathroom or an excess or lack of activity. This can be detected automatically and can warn caregivers or professionals that something may be uh, is happening. This can be of course combined with voice assistance, wearable devices and other AI based technologies in order to provide what we call a holistic system able to take care of the ones requiring, requiring an extra help in their daily activities. Can you think of new areas and applications of AI in social and healthcare? A new collection of devices, AI solutions and technologies are about to make much easier the work of social and health professionals, caregivers and clients and patients' lives. People with some kind of dependency or problem can be assisted, have an interaction with natural language and be assisted, as I'm telling you, 24 hours a day. Diagnosis and even illness prevention can be a real reality with wearables and AI models able to predict future problems. AI can boost this change by letting the professionals to focus what it is really important and when a direct human contact is essential. So no more repetitive tasks, no more tasks that can be done now using AI system. So the professionals can be uh, focusing okay, in what they are really good at. Okay? And with the lack of time and resources we have currently to be uh, where they have to be and doing what they have to do. So AI gives us the chance to be more humans, letting us to get rid of repetitive or unnecessary tasks and focus us in what only humans can do. Okay, this is just the beginning of a new approach to how social and healthcare sector is about to change for the better. So here we finish this brief introduction to artificial intelligence and some applications we can have in the social and healthcare sector. For sure, with this information you are going to start thinking about new ideas. This is the objective.